Welcome back. On today's episode we're taking a look at the gear train assembly. In this segment you will learn about the components in the gear train and the function of each component. So when you're ready let's get started. Gear train assembly. The gear train assembly is a series of gears that transfer power from the crankshaft to other major components in the engine. Gear trains may be located on the front and back of the engine. The gear train shown here is located on the front of the engine between the backing plate and timing gear housing. Purpose of gear train The gear train synchronizes all the components in the engine so they work together during each stroke of the combustion cycle. Components of gear train here are the components of a typical gear train. 1. Crankshaft gear. 2. Idler gear. 3. Camshaft gear. 4. Fuel injection pump gear. 5. Oil pump gear. 6. Water pump gear. And 7. Air compressor. Timing marks. Timing marks are used to align the gears and help ensure proper timing. Crankshaft gear. The crankshaft gear is mounted on the crankshaft. As the crankshaft turns, the gear turns as well. All other components are timed and driven by the crankshaft and crankshaft gear. Idler gear. The idler gear keeps the camshaft gear turning the same direction as the crankshaft gear. The gear ratios ensure that the camshaft turns at one half the speed of the crankshaft. Camshaft gear. The camshaft gear meshes with the idler gear. It turns at half the speed of the crankshaft to make sure the intake and exhaust valves open and close on the correct stroke. Note, the definition of mesh of the teeth of a gear wheel be engaged with another gear wheel. One gear meshes with the input gear. Fuel pump gear. The fuel pump gear is driven by the camshaft gear. Since they are the same size, they both turn at the same speed. The fuel pump gear turns the fuel pump camshaft, which works with the fuel system components to deliver fuel to the engine at the proper time. Balance gear. Some engine models use balance shafts. The shafts are driven from the crankshaft. In this example, there is a balance shaft on each side of the engine. The balance shaft eliminates excess vibration of the crankshaft. Balance shaft and gear assembly. This is an example of a balance shaft and gear assembly. Oil pump gear. The oil pump gear is driven by the crankshaft gear. The oil pump circulates oil throughout the engine. Water pump gear. The water pump is driven by the water pump gear and circulates coolant throughout the engine. The water pump gear is usually driven at the same speed as the crankshaft. Air compressor gear. Some engines use an air compressor to supply air to brakes and other components. The air compressor is driven from gears in the gear train. The air compressor gear meshes with idler gears and turns at the speed recommended by the manufacturer. Pulley assembly. A pulley assembly attached to the crankshaft drives other components like fans or alternators. Timing gear housing. All the timing gears are protected by the timing gear housing. The timing gear housing seals the front of the engine block. That concludes our lesson on gear train assembly and chapter 1, diesel engine basics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.